Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration I'll show you how to manipulate text with the use of Excel functions. There are a bunch of built-in functions that deal with text manipulation and as usual you can find these here in the function guide here under the text section. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the more important ones here. For example, I want to show you the len one which simply calculates the length of a text. So it's 38 characters. Another one that I want to show you is the mid one. Mid. And that requires, as you see, a text. This one, the text again. Start number. I'm going to give it number 5. That should start with hungry. And the number of characters should be 34. And as you see here, I get the result of that. And of course, now that gives me all of it, I can also just do the mid, like that, of course. The mid, and start uh, the text that I want to manipulate, starting with five, and then hungry is, of course, six characters, so I'm going to add that, and that should just give me the word hungry, right? Another thing that I can do with text is um, just get the left characters or the right characters of the text, left, the text again, and then get the uh, three characters to the left, which should give me the, and uh, the same thing with the right, text again, and the number of characters could be the last three, and that would just give me dog. I can also build strings based on other strings, so if I do, for example, this, hi, and then do the ampersand that uh, builds the string based on the other string here. So you see it gives me the whole string here. And of course you can combine this by doing the text here, hi, and then combine that with the uh, last three characters. So that would give me right, and the text again, and the last three characters of that. So that should give me high dog, right? So those are the most important ones of the text functions. Another one that you might find you feel useful is if you get input data like that and you want to split it up. There's here on the data tab there's a text to columns that's very useful. And um, in this case I just have spaces. So if I do delimited and select spaces, you'll see that it breaks this text up into columns like that. So that might be very useful too. That concludes my demonstration on text manipulation in Excel. Thank you for watching.